Hi there, this is Ami Gill, aka Inspiration, coming to you from the Walking Man Project. And I'm over here in the UK, in this beautiful, beautiful place over here in West London. And the reason I wanted to record here was because it reminded me of uh, Big Sur, Big Sur. And uh, today's episode, it's episode 10. And episode 10 is Jerry's Big Sur. And who's Jerry? Jerry Weber is an amazing man. He lives over there in Big Sur. He's been living there for a while, for many years. And he's an artist. He's an amazing artist and an amazing soul with a beautiful heart. And he's always giving, giving, giving for free. And you'll get to see why. And so many people come there. So many people know Jerry. And he is just an awesome guy, right? So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna see Jerry and we're gonna say hello to him and had enough power to be able to actually record properly. Can you believe it? I actually got power. <laughs> All right, so basically what's gonna to happen today in today's episode. So I moved across from Carmel and I came to Big Sur. Uh, I was going through, uh, you know, the highlands and uh, going through the forest and I had sort of camped out over there. And I also ended up in Big Sur Inn. So I'd been walking from Carmel, walk, 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 walk for miles and miles. And then I got to this inn where I could actually charge my battery pack and my other devices. So from this point on, I actually have some charge. I mean, not amazing amount of charge, but I have enough charge to be able to start recording my journey properly. So you're gonna now see some good views. You're gonna see a better Cali. You're gonna get to meet people that I've been like, you know, uh, liaising with. And that's gonna all happen starting from episode 10 today okay so uh, I'm not even gonna like talk too much and I'm gonna like just let you guys uh, enjoy the show because there's a lot going on from now on because I have battery so I'm gonna try to keep these introductions a little bit you know short and uh, quick wrap them up quickly and um, but for now let me just switch to another place right so I'm here okay so basically what's going on yes going through the highlands and I'm telling you, the highlands are high you have to walk up and up and up and up and up and you have to go down and down and up and up and up so you got to do a lot of uh, up and downs yeah and um, being in Big Sur getting my charge you know getting on the way and starting to record uh, it felt amazing and you know uh, while I was charging over there you know it took like a good four or five hours I really really got to know Jerry really well and he gave me some artwork uh, for free which he gives to everybody and uh, you know he signed it off and uh, he had a really nice story that he was telling me while I was there with him he was telling me how he used to have his art right and this art that he had it was uh, it was amazing but nobody ever bought it he tried to sell it tried to sell it I said to him man you could do the online thing and like you know even I could help you you know sell your art and uh, he was like yeah he tried but it wasn't going uh, he didn't do the social media thing. He didn't try to sell it online, but he whatever he tried it, it didn't work and then he decided to leave and uh, Come to Big Sur before he left for Big Sur. He actually sold everything that he had all actually he didn't even sell it He gave it away. He, he basically left all his artwork there for people if they want it You can have it for free and then what happened people took that artwork and they started putting it in businesses restaurants and all these other places and so basically when he was selling it for money no one bought it but when he gave it free everyone took it and then everyone appreciated it and that's maybe one of the reasons he does what he does you know he goes there pretty much regularly sits down by big sir in and he just makes art and gives it gives it gives it a talent like that definitely needs to uh be shown <laughs> you know to the world um so <clears throat> jerry i'm gonna help you out my brother and uh, I'm definitely gonna be coming back into Big Sur and when I'm back there I'm gonna come and catch up with you and then we're gonna do some things and maybe you can help uh, you know inspiration on his uh, projects as well and I always need artwork come on you know if you're making music if you're making you know you're gonna have singles you're gonna have albums you're gonna you know if I'm making uh, productions I'm gonna need like you know uh, really really good print work and good good artwork so I'm sure I'm gonna take Jerry's uh, art on board and uh, and he's got an amazing imagination Jerry has Jerry's imagination crazy like he's given me this really thing it's got like you know I'm not even gonna talk too much uh, you'll see the art that he gave me and the stories behind his art 
and uh, each of his pieces has a story behind it. So I love that about Jerry and um, very humble guy and very famous as well. Like as I was moving along, a lot of people have heard of Jerry <laughs> and uh, you know, he's like very down to earth, very nice person. Anyway, say no more. This is episode 10, Jerry's Big Sur. And I call it Jerry's Big Sur because he is the Big Sur, yeah, over there. And Jerry, keep it up, keep up the good work and you know, God will do great things for you, I'm sure. All right, God bless everybody. Peace, one love and inspiration. We'll see you very soon. And I'm like a monkey. Yeah, can I climb this? Ooh, maybe. Woo, go inspiration. Oh, there you go, you monkey. <laughs> well, oh, you can't even see it on the camera, huh? All right, back down. Whoo, whoo, that's right. All right, I'll see you guys very soon. Peace, one love. God bless everybody. Okay, here we go. Hi there, this is Amy Gill, aka Inspiration, coming to you from the 22nd of uh, July. On my tent, managed to camp out in the reserve. Look at that. Little home, away from home. Found a little place. I've been walking for miles, literally just walked solid like 20 plus miles. And uh, started at like 7 a.m. and got to Big Sur at like. Uh, like midnight basically and then I had to just crash because there's a little inn down the way but uh I th there's another like couple of miles and uh I thought yeah it'll be closed right now and this looks like a good spot there were no spots no beaches open nothing and uh yeah it's been a crazy tiring journey so let's just get to the inn get some food because I had no food there was no shops so I've had absolutely nothing and my water was running really really low like super low like you don't even know and then there's bears and and i don't know god knows what over here but uh basically this is my supplies my supplies were running very really low see look no water just that little bit to like keep me going ran out of everything everything gone even no food nothing like i said but uh, i made it inspirations made it to big sir and look at <laughs> i look like i really had a being and I had to carry all that weight. Oh, it was crazy. But it was done. It's, it's, uh, it was a good challenge. So now I'm just going to try and save this little bit of battery and get over there and see if I can get a charge. Along the coast, zero connection. Zero. I went with T-Mobile there. Zero. Like basically the whole way there was zero bars. Can you believe that? Anyway, uh, this is Amy Gill, aka Inspiration. Yes gonna come in with uh, a bit more content a little bit later so uh say uh goodbye to my tent look at that bad boy yeah bear ain't getting in that thing well maybe raccoons i heard lots of raccoons i actually had bear yesterday as well it was like boo, boo. you could hear the loud steps but i think it was a bit far in the distance and uh well, i was ready for it you know got my little kind of tripod thing just in case bam bam anyone comes pow like see that pa pow bear pow <laughs> yeah, and you can extend this as well we've got different levels to it really good we recommend carrying that around if you've got an iphone and uh if you're gonna meet up with bears and mountain lions okay for now uh all i can say is uh i'm gonna try and uh, move on um it's morning beautiful morning um okay peace and one love uh, i'll speak to you guys very soon it's the breakfast burrito <laughs> all the way in River Inn. Beautiful River Inn made it here. They have a general store and they have a motel. I managed to get some food after like two days of walking with like half a day's worth of food. It's got everything in there. Look at that. It's got the uh, Beautiful, like a, I made it like a breakfast bowl. So, if you look into it, what is it? Uh, got that bacon, rice, vegetables, sausages, potatoes. There you go. That's it. This is how you do. Con There's a uh, cilantro with loads of cheese and plenty of salad. You know that's how we're gonna eat. <laughs> Get that energy going. 
And look, there's a restroom right over there. And I am obviously here at Big Sur. Can you see that Big Sur River Inn? I actually uh, came down here, uh, went to the general store over there. And um, basically there's a restaurant that's open as well. But I really wanted to check out how much the motel was. And the motel was, you won't believe this. It was actually, bam, 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 that's Big Sur. Do, 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 walked all the way across that and came around. And this was $350 for the day, oh, for the night, $350. <laughs> way out of my budget uh, so I couldn't get a room here I mean uh, apparently there's not much going on until you go down the road for 60 miles to uh, St. Simone I was told it was really nice receptionist really nice lady over there uh, the, at the general store oh, I had my breakfast and everything with the brio but then I stocked up look at this this is the stuff that you need start with the brewskis a couple of beers bananas yeah sandwiches i bought this sandwich and it was the last one and they bought more sandwiches in the in the in the shop so when they bought more sandwiches i was like oh can i quickly switch it i'm walking 60 miles and she was like oh you can have this for free see <laughs> she goes you'll need it i will definitely need it i was trying to cramp up earlier and uh what else do i have here Roach. um so i got crushed pepper and uh seeds orange apple pear obviously the fruit is good and then must have water and then I got additional water as well. So all of this stuff with the weight is going to be uh, coming with me. Um, okay, and I managed to get some charge. Luckily, uh, they let me charge my uh, power bank. I um, just bumped into uh, Gerald Jerry Weber, and he's an artist. He actually has a store right over here. He gives free art away. He was a very good artist, and uh, you know, he, um, started doing this giving away art and signing it and he's here local to big sir um so we're gonna say hello to jerry uh, here's some of his artwork i actually uh do think it's pretty damn good okay this is one of my favorite i like from the collection um got my number five yin and yang um so i'm gonna get jerry to sign this for me and uh and he wishes me the best on my journey he knows uh, how oh, long the walk is. There he is, look, giving to the kids, giving to the kids right there. He's pretty cool. So uh, let's go say hello to him quickly and, um, you know, uh, find out a little bit about him. That's cool. It's always good to social distance, Jerry. There we go. I'm doing it as well. This is Jerry Weber. Hi, Jacob. Hi, hi, Jerry. Oh, hi. How are you? So you're the artist, the man who gives away free art. Look the at free that. Art. That. Hey, Jerry, I might want that one there. Yeah. So can you sign this for me? This one. This is. This is the one I actually really like. Do you know, walking these streets over here, <laughs> you're not gonna find any power. But if we have a look, free art. And I bet you me a thousand. Do you have a cable? Are able to charge that? Yeah, I do, but I have no power. I have the power. Huh? I have the power. You have the power, I'm sure. You <laughs> but I, this one is interesting as well. Yes. But there's seven communication towers, so yes. they're all linked to one another. All linked together. Huh? And they're still here, like no. uh, existent, or they've been taken down? Uh, no, they they not they're non-existent because <laughs> the the planet is non-existent. Oh, really? That's, that's the word? Thur Thurin's is the planet, and so this is the dome city of Ishtar on the planet Thurin, wherever that might be. <laughs> wow. These towers actually did exist back in the ancient, you know, BC, Alexandria, Egypt, uh, where it was a light tower uh -huh. with the uh, huge uh, polished bronze discs that were whatever that would they could move and manipulate in different directions. Wow, that's to amazing. actually it was actually designed to help the ships so they didn't foul of go afoul on the rocks and I see, I see. That's it. That's a good story behind the art and uh, those two other ones I'll take. And can you make it out to inspiration? I always uh, put a dot the eye dot the eye because you know inspiration i'm a small fish on a big pond <laughs> right. and thank you for that as well jerry you got it my honor brother yeah honor. and you know what i'm gonna be around and a lot of people are gonna see you and uh, god bless you for everything that you do thank you. you know thank you. it's like amazing could i have more people like you out here in the world man god you bless you oh also <laughs> you gave me some thank you so much yeah. 
Hey, God bless. Awesome. Very nice person. And he's always here at Big Sur. Come down here. You know, he'll give you art for free. Um, maybe a little donation will go a long way to help with the print work and stuff. So, okay, this is Inspiration signing out. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye for now, Big Sur. And I will be online again shortly. God bless. Oh, yeah.